Salam alaikum. My name is Kenny, and we're working with English words that come from foreign languages. Today, we are looking at the language of Arabic. When I think about Arabic words in English, I think of words that start with al. Words like algorithm, alchemy, alkali, and even alcohol comes from the Arabic language. Of course, there are many other English words that come from Arabic as well, such as talisman, elixir, safari, and zirconia. Today, we're going to look at some of the less common words. We're going to start with a two for one. The Arabic speaking world is centered around deserts, so it's no surprise that they have many words to describe different types of deserts. Some of these words have made its way into English, especially in the field of geology. Two of the words are erg and hamada. Erg is the stereotypical type of deserts we see in pictures of the Sahara with tall sand dunes. Hamada, on the other hand, is usually flat, rocky, and devoid of sand. Speaking of sand, we have our next word, haboob. Haboob is a type of sandstorm or dust storm. Haboobs don't just happen on Earth. They have been recorded on other planets and celestial objects, such as Mars and Titan. The next word is azimuth. Azimuth describes the measurement of direction as it pertains to the compass. So, due north is zero degrees, due east is 90 degrees, due south is 180 degrees, and due west is 270 degrees. Azimuth is usually used with the word altitude, especially in things like stargazing. Azimuth tells us which direction to face, and the altitude tells us how high to look up. Next, we have the word nadir. Nadir is the opposite of zenith, which is also an Arabic word. Zenith means the highest of something or the most successful time, whereas nadir is the lowest point or the most adverse time. Think of phrases such as all-time low or rock bottom. So, for example, my team started off the season well with five wins, but then it reached its nadir by losing the rest of the games of the season and ending up in last place. Finally, we have the word garble. To garble means to distort sounds or meanings so that the message is misrepresented or misinterpreted. Toddlers and people who are drunk can garble their words. You can also garble when you avoid telling the truth or when you forget your lines in a play or a YouTube video. Learn new vocabulary words with us so you never have to garble when you express yourself. Like, subscribe, and share and we'll see you in the next episode of English Words from Foreign Languages. Goodbye.